It's Jeff here at the New Janky Workshop. One of the first projects out of leather I showed Brian how to make was this. A holster for a leather man. Mine was made out of some crappy leather and it's all falling apart and getting too soft. So I'm going to remake this today, but I'm also going to record it this time and show you guys. Now this led Brian off to be making gorgeous bags, bracelets, keychains, all that sort of stuff. So some basic leather working is all you need to really get going in the craft. So I'm going to use this piece. I think I have enough here. All right. What I did first was I made a template. And this is basically all the leather that I'm going to cut. So I basically took my Leatherman and figured out how much I want to stick out of the top, what the bottom is, what the back's going to be, how much is going to go over the top, around for the button enclosure, and how much go around for the sides. Very easy template to make. You just do this. This, draw your measurements, this, draw your measurements, this, draw your measurements, and as much as you want from that front clasp. And then same thing here, get the measurements from the side. And then get the measurements again, and so on and so forth. It's very simple template to put together. This one is for a Leatherman Wave Plus. I will post this template, once I get into a nice PDF form, um, so that you guys can see this and download it and use it for your own projects. So what we need to do first is cut this template out of our chunk of leather here. I'm gonna grab my see-through ruler. Now, I'm doing this on top of a piece of leather. You might want to use something like a cutting mat such as this, so you don't cut the leather underneath. And a see-through ruler has one side which has metallic edge on it. That's why you can see I have a little sign here that says cut. That means that's where the metallic edge is, so I can follow along that metallic edge to get the cut that I want. Let's cut the other side here. Make sure. Oh, so we just have two side. Okay, there. Better have too much than not enough. Now we have our template cut out. You can see how this kind of goes together. Like that. These two corners here, I'll grab some corner chisels and put a nice rounded corner on each of these. There we go. That's where our clip's going to go. In fact, I'm going to take a little off of this side. So I've got this at what? There we go. Perfect. Now take and a little jimmy tool here. That's where I want my snap to be up front. In the back. That's where I want my rivets to be. Now that we have all our holes punched, it is time to rivet. I'm going to go with other rivets. 
Oops. You have those rivets on. That now fits in there nice and snugly. All right, so now we just need to clean up the rivets. We'll do that. Set of bolt cutters come across this way. They come across this way. Come across this way. Come across this way. Basically trying to round it out so there's less to round out. Now we take the smashy end. And we get the anvil. need to put a clasp on. Flatten that bit down. That's all it is. There we go. We now have our new Leatherman belt holder.